So my name is Esther Msuya. Um, I have a business that I co-founded with two partners here in Dar es Salaam. It's called Soul Treats. Um, where our shop is in Namanga and basically we do cakes. So it's a cake shop. Uh, we do wedding cakes, birthday cakes. We have a small cafe. We have cookies, brownies. Um, I believe some of the best cakes in Tanzania. Yeah, so that's us. <laughs> Okay, uh, my name is Elizabeth Mleli, and I'm her biggest customer <laughs> <laughs> because I have got a sweet tooth. Um, I am in business of education, so I'm an educator. I uh, have a school which started as an early childhood center, uh, providing uh, s uh, the most uh, needed support to children, the young children from infants. Actually, I'm, I take from zero, meaning three months, uh, to five years. And now we have extended it from uh, six years to 12 years old. Um, that is innovation. Innovation is not just uh, digital. I just want to highlight that, that innovation can be anything that uh, can be any idea that is different. How are we different? We are different because we are doing child development and it is an inclusive child development. We take children with and without special needs. Um, a lot of people do daycares, but we are actually do, uh, we are developing our children, um, stimulating uh, their creativity from the young age, uh, also uh, communication, uh, confidence, cognitive development, things that will help you as you are growing now, you are at your prime youth level, you are able to think big. Yeah, yeah, it starts from young. If we don't start from young, we will not achieve anything. And I did that because I saw that there is a gap. Yes, we have a good university in Tanzania, and most of you, I guess, if you're not at the university, maybe you have just finished your first degree, and that is all good. But what we're lacking in our community is the uh, confidence, creativity, and innovation. And that starts yeah, when a child is still young. So that is what I do. Hi everyone, I'm Tina. So uh, my organization is called Ubongo. We create edutainment content and products for children. So we have two flagship shows, Ubongo Kids and Akili and Me. Um, anyone who is younger than 13 in the audience might know it. Um, but what we really pride ourselves in doing is the content part of it. So it's not just about TV shows, it's across all platforms. We're on radio, we have apps, books. So whichever technology, whichever learning style that children have, we try and create content for that. And um, it's not just for children who already have the advantage of having access to technology and internet and electricity, but also last mile children. So those who don't have access to any of that, we want to um, narrow the education gap. We don't want to just say we're going to provide more and more for those who already have, but we're really looking at how to provide also for those who don't have. So on the ground distribution, using Boda Boda drivers, using local video um, bandas, how do we work with teachers in the communities to get that content to children um, that need it the most? Thank you. Okay, really.